What's up, family? I trust all is well, right? So right now we're traveling. You know, we got to go down to Mississippi to be with our family and you know, my past two weeks haven't been the best, but I'm here, right? And I'm grateful and I'm grateful for having knowledge and understanding that things happen for a reason, right? I don't know if you guys can hear me because I am on the side of the road. Let me squat a little bit. I'm on the side of the road because this is something I do often, so I probably won't post this until after I've made it back because I, I enjoy like my personal time traveling, right? But I want to talk to you real quick about the power of prayer. The power of prayer and the power of your words. You know, just because some things come up against you does not mean all hope is lost. Even when it seems like all hope is lost, you still have to remember that you hold power within, right? Think about times when you get upset or some things don't go your way and you know it should go a certain way. You use your voice to ensure that things get done, right? Same thing with prayer. You know, a lot of us is taught that prayer comes from begging and, oh, I need this and, you know, help me do this and help me do that. But a huge part of prayer is declaring and decreeing. When you declare something over your life, you know it's going to happen. You may not know how or why, when and where, but because you declare that, so more it be. A lot of us tend to look outside of ourselves, and I'm saying a lot of us because we have moments where we get very, very vulnerable and we find ourselves feeling weak as well, right? And there's times where we have to, or where we feel like we have to go outside of ourselves to get the things done that we need or to get somebody to push for us. But the power of prayer allows you to do it for yourself as well. See, but whenever you do pray, there's this thing called faith that you have to have. Yeah, you go slip up, right? You go slip up. You may forget about the faith part. Because truthfully, I recently had a moment where it was like, oh, you know, sure, I'll share sure that story soon or later. Who knows? I remember a saying that when we were, you know, I was growing up because I was with my elders, right? If you go pray, why worry? And I just told somebody else this. Um, but if you go worry, why pray? Because what happens when you do, when you pray and you still worrying, you cause conflict within your own words. Oh, okay. I'm praying because I want this to happen. I declared this over myself, but oh, I'm still scared. Oh, I still have this fear. Oh, I don't think this is going to happen. Why pray about it? You know. Some things are so much easier said than done. I know I get it. This is why I do what I do. But all things are possible. Understand that. You know. I mean, I just keep getting this cold. I wash my eyes, maybe because I've been driving for so long. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I ain't fixed up the hair or nothing like that. But I was sitting there driving. And I had to pause for a minute. I had to shift the atmosphere for myself. You know, I was brought up in the church heavy, heavy. I was one of those girls, the youngest one in tavern service. You know, my elders always taught me to use my words. Even though... It's slightly different from what I do now. Your power don't change. Your power don't change. I remember being at tavern service. No music. Me and my children were nothing but elders. Nothing but elders. The only music we had was our hands and our feet. I didn't know the power of your hands. I didn't know the power of your feet. I didn't know about the vibration that we were able to send out just to open up portals that we needed to draw in the things that we want, right? I didn't know about that. Sometimes we gotta get by ourselves and I say this so much. And believe it or not, y'all, I go back and watch my videos and I get messages for myself at certain times. You gotta be by yourself sometimes. And you are the one that can really, really 
need to bring that shift into your life. Understand that. Well, I'm going to get on now because, look, I done, I done sit down. Y'all know when I connect, man, I connect. I connect heaven now. But all is well. All is well. Use your voice to make a difference. I love y'all so much. All is well. Is it well? I am the leading boss. We feel to make some differences in our lives, starting with ourselves. Understand that. I shave my family. I shave.